<laughs> Let's talk a little bit about, and this is, uh, this is strange. But um, I never thought we'd be talking about this guy again, but Mark Borowiecki. Oh, yeah. <sighs> So this is what I'm. This is what I'm. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Now, this is this is Leafs related, but I tag this under Senators because this is a Senators thing. And you know when it you, is. you know when you, um, you know when you read a comment from somebody, no, and they're like, you're like, oh, you're just trying to be a hero. Yeah, this I think is what Enrique Iglesias version. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, what, what they did for the Spider-Man movie way back when with what's her what's her futs from Evanescence and guy who sounds like he's from Creed. <laughs> Remember which one was There's that? There's a lot of references. Yeah, man, that's that. deep. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> There's a hero song. Like, oh, for, uh, and they say yeah. that a, a hero, hero is that can save. Did, yeah. Was it Nickelback on that too? I don't, know. I don't know. Anyway, they all sound the same. When someone's Evanescence. trying to be a hero, a cape baiter. Yes. Mm. Was Mark Boriak, whatever the futz, was he cape baiting? Let's let's see. When when we when referencing Scott Sabrin, by the way, who had seven Ooh. AHL points. Touch it. What happened? What I touch? The, the the quotes on the screen. Oh, He's, he could touch when, it. When referencing <laughs> Scott Sabrin, who had seven AHL points last year, slew footed Austin Matthews Eight. in the preseason. Sorry. <laughs> um, and Matthews went, "Who are you again?" Yeah, yeah. Uh, Borvietsky thought said, I thought it was a little disrespectful, to be honest. Duh, that was sort of the point. Uh, we're not yes. all blessed with Austin Matthews' talent, unfortunately. I'm not sure Austin appreciate what it's like being a fighter down there. It's a role he's never had to play. Whoa. Now, yeah. I know that's not the whole quote. But that's the joy of cut, boiling it down, because that's most Ooh. of it. What How you... much of that is, okay, that's my teammate, and I just got to go out and say the correct thing? That's it. Right, well, and it's it's what I was saying. Like, okay, you don't got to win every game. You got to beat the Leafs, right? Or you know, we, not every game is the Stanley Cup final. But we, oh, sorry, let me let me let we got to beat the Leafs. Let me say this: we're not all blessed with Austin Matthews' talent, unfortunately. But I truly wish I was. Some of us had to do it the hard way. Wow, wow, yeah. <laughs> you know, some of us, when the owners like, I want you to be part of a shitty interview with me. <laughs> have to suck you, it up and go you gotta, right. Okay, what are we going to do here? Like, uh, it's, it, yeah, it's devoid of context. Like, the reason Matthews did it is Sabrin was being a shit. Like, he's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Sabrin, he got his job because he did his job. Yeah. Dude, in the preseason, he got Austin Matthews' attention and mm. punched Max Domi. <laughs> For a guy who... And beat, beat Max Domi to fight. Yeah. Well, I mean... Right. Once when when Domi hit the ice, he still had a glove on. So oh, okay, I'm gonna grade right. on a curve uh, there. Enough, but okay. um, you know, far be it from a Leafs fan to defend Max Domi. But did you know he has a book? Um, for a guy who put up like less than fourth line AHL production last year, to accomplish that in a preseason game, even if he had dirty tactics to do it, I mean, good on. Him. And the fact he's gonna make more money than he ever has in his entire life, although. He did. You left out a quote there. What? The seventy thousand dollars one. No. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, this guy made. You know, he's been making seventy thousand dollars, and a lot of people on rolling Twitter around were like, on a team. Of... <laughs> seventy thousand dollars American to play hockey. But yeah, I I understand. Sorry, I should I should have included that. But yeah, quotes, it's really tough when you know you're going to fight double digits every year and ride the bus around and get paid seventy thousand dollars. So you get we're seventy thousand bucks to ride a bus and punch face. There's a lot of people I know who would take that. Should we be disappointed yeah. that Sabrin's in the league? No, that the NHL hasn't what? phased out this type of player by by now. It's 2019. I mean, the NHL might phase him out by Christmas. <laughs> Uh, who knows? I think he who will knows? phase himself out. Who knows? I mean, we need former worry. Oshawa general, so he's a good guy, obviously. But <laughs> the, no, that. the point is not Scott Sabrin. <laughs> no, the point is this true. dumb quote. Yeah, that's dumb. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, well, of course. It, listen, <laughs> slew footing a superstar in preseason is disrespectful too. Of man. course, but we're we're seeing we're seeing the Senators' strategy at play. They're world beaters. And they right. got to tell themselves that they're world beaters. Mm -hmm. And if you're Jeff Blaschel or anyone in the Detroit locker room, that's your job too. If you're, I don't know, maybe the Kings. You know, if you're not expected to do well this year, that's got to be your mindset. Mm -hmm. Like we always talk about tanking teams 
And no, I don't expect the players to tank. But the organization's got to make a decision to sort of strip it of talent and get different assets and whatever. But the players in the room, like, I, I don't know, good on Boro for doing that. And Sabarin for doing his job. I, uh, not necessarily the slew foot. I kind of liked Adam's angle of it's a dumb quote. Oh, it's a dumb quote. <laughs> it's the dumbest <laughs> It's quote. a dumb quote. But, like, I get what he's doing. Sure. It's also kind of dumb. It's pretty dumb. It's yeah. Pretty dumb. Well, they they have to tell themselves they're world beaters, but they won't beat anyone. Like, let's just be... Craig Anderson, they, they live or die by games. Craig Anderson. They'll play fun games. <laughs> what Let, does that listen, mean? They're going to lose 7-4? They skate real fast. They try real hard. They score goals sometimes, yeah. although... When they traded Mark Stone, that went away. So I'm interested to see how that goes. I'm, this year. I'm excited to see how Mark Stone does in Vegas. By the way, he's gonna kill it. Oh, Vegas is gonna do really, really well. I think. 